Hello. I am Hydra Ninja. Here we have the Sennheiser HD 428 in all of their Sennheiser NES. Now for those of you who don't know, Sennheiser is a pretty big headphone and earphone company. It's a respectable company. If you didn't know the name Sennheiser, then how would you know the name of this video? Any anyway, first let's talk about accessories. The box, which I do not have here because it's pretty bland. I, I mean, I, I really don't care about the box. It just was bland. And what you get is the headphones itself and the stereo adapter you can use this for if you have a sub no I don't know if it'll work with subwoofers or anything but it's like for stereo systems and pianos so all you need to do is you just I'm doing this with one hand so I might be pretty bad let's go Go in there, come on. Okay. And did you hear that snap? There, that's the snap. And your cable is now fully stereofied. Fully stereofied. Okay then. Enough about the accessories. Now first, start with comfort. These are actually pretty comfortable because they are, in fact, on-ear circumoral headphones. Now I do have some on, I mean over-ear, sorry my bad, over-ear headphones. These are over-ear, not on-ear. On-ear headphones are like the Beats by Dre Solos. Just giving you an example. They rest on your ear. There are several different types of headphones. And earbuds and earphones and, you know. I'm probably going to do a review. I mean, not a review. An explanation of headphones. Based on how many views I get. Sennheiser label. I think you could see that pretty well. Sennheiser. Now, comfort. Let's see. It feels really soft. Really, really soft. It, it is really soft. Because it's made out of some kind of vinyl material. Which it's on here. And over here. So, it, it's really, it's really, really comfortable. Compared to, like, the on-ear type of headphone, on-ears, they aren't very comfortable because they apply pressure to your head. Circumoral or over-ear headphones like these, these provide the maximum comfort because they are over your ear and do not require as much pressure. Now, I wear glasses. With on-ears, it's not that big of a problem, and not with in-ears. But with circumoral headphones, it's just really... I mean, it doesn't affect the overall listening experience, but it just feels weird. I don't know. I really just don't know how to describe it. You might get a little discomfort, but it's just... Just a little. It's not too bad. There's the pressure points would usually be over here somewhere. Basically on the sides of your forehead where you have the glasses. When the headphones touch your forehead, something sometimes that creates pressure. Okay. Comfort, build quality. Yes. Okay, let's let's do build quality now. Build quality of the Sennheiser HD 428s. Bad 
stereo. Anyway, build quality, it, it's made out of plastic. It, it's, all of it's plastic. I'm, I can't really complain about the build quality, but I will include something. With on-ear headphones, if Circumoral and on-ear headphones don't fold up, then they're gonna, they're not gonna be as portable as in-ears. In ears are light and everything, so are on ears, but circumoral headphones. I will never see myself running or jogging with these headphones because they do not fold up, but they are in fact pretty light for a circumoral headphone. They are very light. Now, let's. the cable. Okay, I'm just kind of unraveling it a little. Ma minor technical difficulties. Sorry about that. And here we have the cable. It starts over here. Oh, yeah. It starts over there and then it continues its way down. Okay. Now let's talk about that. That is a, a just random mess that I put together in a couple of seconds because this cable is pretty long and I, that's why I said it wasn't like a portable headphone one it doesn't fold up and two the its cable is huge it, it's meant for stereo home use it, it's meant for home use now the cable may be a bit thin for some people and I think for me also for a headphone Circumoral headphone, they are pretty, they're pretty thin. But what I like is that the cable is not too big. It may be a bit thin for some users, but it's not too big, and it won't like care. It won't be super, super heavy on you when you wear these. Now let's go here again. There is the Sennheiser lo logo, and it is a gold plated jack now these things cost fifty dollars just uh... you can find them from forty forty eight to i think about fifty four or fifty five i got them for forty eight dollars i'm i i think forty eight dollars is a pretty good price for these normal price would be ninety nine dollars I think these are an older model, that's why they reduce the price that much. But it's a pretty good price for these. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't feel ripped off if I was gonna pay $99 for it. I just. Now, sound quality. This is the big one. Everybody wants to know about the sound quality. And comfort, second biggest. But anyway, let's start with sound quality. These Sennheiser HD 428s sound amazing. Just, just amazing for, for the price. Now, originally when I bought this, I thought they were going to be a bit more base, bassy. Because I thought, oh, you have such a huge driver, why not have a ton of bass? Or at least enhanced bass. Now, because I haven't posted that um, headphone, earphone explanation yet, I will sometime. But because I have, I'll tell you, there's three different types of sound qualities. Besides the extreme treble and extreme mids, I guess you could say. There is... Extreme a bass boost, Skull Candy, Dr. Dre, Beats by Dre, all that stuff is ex bass boost. I I was gonna make a model it as extreme bass, but it just doesn't sound right. Next is an enhanced bass. Now, enhanced bass is like for. It's kind of like for rock, rock and. Because you need to have some bass, but you just don't want to have too much where the bass gets in the mids and the mids sound like terrible. And 
the number one culprit for that is the Beats by Dre solos. I, I hated those things. I went to an Apple store and yeah, I'm not buying those. I might review them if Monster sends that to me, but it's going to take a while. Anyway. Sound quality. It, it's There's the third type of sound quality, and a headphone is neutral. Neutral. Meaning, I mean, the enhanced bass is not... It, there's a difference between neutral and enhanced bass, which I will talk about later. I seem to be running out of time, so let's make this sound quality... Bit faster than I intended to. Sound quality. The drivers are big. I was expecting a lot of bass. While I'm not disappointed, these sound fantastic. First of all, sound stage. These have amazing, like, for the price, pretty good. I, yeah, a pretty good sound stage. What it means is like. You get the feeling that your sound stage is like, you get the feeling like it, you're actually in a concert and you hear the band playing. You can only get that with really high-end headphones and earphones and earbuds. Now, while those, that's not like that. It's still like, it, it doesn't go to the forehead or it goes a bit farther than the forehead for more. It goes like... Anyway, the sound stage is really good. Like I'm I'm just impressed. It's hard to explain. Now the let's start from the down bass. When I first got them I'm like, oh my gosh, this thing doesn't have any bass. Why why did I spend all my money and waste this piece of Well I'm, I mean, I, I'm not a fan of bass-boosted music, and I don't want to listen to, but I think now I know that I prefer neutral headphones because of one reason. They, they do absolutely well with EQ. If you turn it into rock, it's going to sound like rock. These have a pretty good EQ. The treble is great. Trouble is pretty good. Symbols, when you hear the symbols, it, it sounds amazing. The mids are, again, good. They're great. Vocals really sound good with this. And the bass is nearly non-existent when you first buy it, but then it starts to get better. Now, I think this has become my favorite headphone right now. It, it's just... I can't wear my earphones anymore because these just sound too good for me. Just, they're just too good. I might be getting Sure SE215 sometime. I'll post a review about that later. They're pretty new headphones. These are old, so. Anyway, let's see. Complaints. Any complaints? Sorry about that flash. No, yeah, I have one, but my camera is pretty bad. It's like a phone camera thing. I don't know if you could see it, but do you see that part? It's attached by only one thing. Okay, go there. Focus. Focus already. Okay, you see that? That's my only complaint. It's... It's like kind of one plastic piece is on that. And that's the only thing attaching the headphones. You can see that a bit better. Only one little plastic piece. That, that, that's great. I mean, if it breaks, then you always have Sennheiser's warranty, which is pretty good. Now, I always save, like, the thing that's mo least important for the last looks. I mean, this, there's, I think headphones and fashion headphones are a totally different breed from each other. Because these headphones focus on sound quality. If you go to Silk All Candy, then it's gonna sound, like, mediocre for the price. But it's gonna look, I mean, great. It's for the teenage crowd, and yada yada. 
I don't like Skull Candy headphones. There's a ton of other fashion headphones besides Skull Candy. Anyway, let's leave it at that. And these are the Sennheiser HD 428s headphones. Go out and buy them. They are my favorite headphones for fifty dollars and less. And they, you should buy them. That's it. That's all.